What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Um, as you can see from the title of the video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to kind of go into um, the struggles, if you will, of being a YouTuber. Um, I just want to let y'all know this video is not me complaining at all. It's me just kind of letting y'all know um, what it looks like for us as YouTubers on a daily basis. Because um, for a lot of us, this is our job. This is how we make money. This is how we live in our houses. This is how we eat food, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. It's a job just like your parents' jobs or your friends' jobs. Everybody has to make money to survive. Um, and so this is our job and we take a lot of pride in it. Um, and I'm so happy this is my job. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else ever in my life. This is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a lot of fun meeting new people, so on and so forth. I'm doing a long intro now. Um, but I just want to kind of precurse the video with that, that this isn't complaining or just being negative to be negative, anything like that. I just want to let y'all know what we kind of go through on a daily basis. Um, so one of the first things that I find the hardest, and I think it's a pretty obvious one, is the comment section. Um, as many of y'all know, PewDiePie, the biggest YouTuber, disabled his comment section because of how messed up it was. Um, and you know, on a daily basis in my comment section, I get um, stupid spam stuff from gym hack apps that will steal your account. Never do those. Kick those people off. Um, people being negative just to be negative. Doesn't make any sense to me. People literally just getting on to be negative. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, people self-advertising all the time. Um, I'm okay with you wanting people to find your channel. I wanted people to find my channel a year and a half ago when I started. Um, and But I never self-advertised. Uh, I would go on to the forums and post my videos at first. I had Instagram and Twitter that I would tag people in, so on and so forth. Um, I would comment on people's videos, but I wouldn't say, hey, awesome video, it reminds me of one that I did. No, <laughs> that's not what you do. People see through that, and honestly, it makes you less attractive when you self-advertise like that. Um, just comment and be active, and if you have a thumbnail that looks like you're a gamer, people will go check out your channel. Um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's that simple. So um, the comment section can be very, very just degrading. You know, uh, this is my job. I do this as a living. Um, I try and do it to the best of my ability to glorify God. You guys know that I'm a Christian. Um, and it's very, very hard when I look in the comment section uh, on a video that I worked hard on that day, that I thought of the idea, that I sat down, I recorded it, I edited it, um, all that kind of stuff. And people are just negative. I just don't get it. And it's hard. It genuinely like hurts. Um, and it also hurts when people directly attack you. Like if someone attacks my video, it sucks. Okay. But people directly attack me in every single video. They say, well, you suck. You're an idiot. You should never do this again. Like honestly, honestly, what's the point of that? There's, there's literally no point in that. If you're that person, you need to do some soul searching or something and figure out what you're doing with your life. Because if you're negative like that, your life's just not going to be fun. Honestly, optimists, are amazing. You need to just be happy and be positive. Um, yes, there's negative stuff in the world and people that are always like, everything's so good. It's not true. But um, the people that are just negative all the time, it sucks. That probably wears you down. And I would just hate to be like that. Um, so that's the first biggest thing for me is the comment section and how hard it can be to even read it. But another thing going along with the comment section, Havoc just tweeted this at me. Um, Somebody asking a question and not being able to answer it. Uh, I have 270 something thousand subscribers um, with, I don't know, probably around 30 to 50 active. Um, I cannot respond to everybody and it sucks. It really does suck. Like I would love to meet all, I would genuinely love to meet everyone and talk to y'all, answer your questions, all this kind of stuff. But it can wear you out, especially when you're just trying to relax and take a break from your job. Um, and then you still have to do all this other stuff. So like your parents probably work eight, eight hour days, maybe, maybe nine to 10, something along those lines. Being a YouTuber sometimes is full time. Like you're on Twitter, you're responding to stuff, you're favoriting things, you're retweeting all this kind of stuff. I know that, that seems kind of lame, but when you've been doing it all day, it's kind of overwhelming. So another thing along that line is like, we do this for you guys and it does suck when I can't help everybody. It does suck when I can't give everybody a base review. It does suck when I can't give everybody gems. Um, but it's just not possible. It's not possible. Um, so I have, I have this tweet pulled up as well with a bunch of responses on it, um, that I can go through, but 
Uh, some other things that are just hard is uh, coming up with new ideas. It's hard coming up with new ideas, especially when the market's so saturated. Like the Clash community is so saturated now, it's ridiculous. There's probably 20 people with 80,000 and above subscribers. Um, I don't watch all of them by, at any means. Um, I probably watch a couple um, on a daily basis and then maybe check out a video every week or so by some others. So when I do come up with new videos, um, sometimes people say that I'm copying other people, but I don't sit around and watch everybody's videos. None of us YouTubers do that. That'd be way too hard. I'd be sitting in front of this computer for 15 hours a day if I did that. Um, so coming up with new ideas, being original, especially I've been doing this for almost two years ago, um, being one of the original Clash YouTubers, like it's hard um, doing that and having all these new people come in and um, trying to come up with new ideas, you know, is, is, is difficult. Um, <clears throat> and then again, doing videos that other people have done. Everybody's done one unit series. Everybody has done Road to Blank, Masters or Champions, whatever it is. Uh, everybody has done, uh, or a lot of people have done Zero to Hero. Uh, everybody's doing the verse videos now where it's like, Troop versus Troop. Yeah, everybody's doing it. So it's, it's hard to, to be different and unique um, sometimes. It's, it's fun when you do come up with a new idea though and you collaborate with people. But otherwise, it can be pretty pretty difficult and pretty challenging. Um, next thing that's really hard to deal with is trolls. Like trolls have developed as if they're like a ancient species that's learning how to do stuff. It's ridiculous. Trolls literally just get on your channel now to start fights in your comments and then go to another video, start another fight, go to another video, start another fight, and then go to bed. Like what kind of a life is that? It's a miserable life if I have anything to say about it. Um, so trolls is hard. It's hard seeing people fight in the comments. Like I said earlier, I just want everybody to be happy. <laughs> I don't want I don't want there to be fights in my comments. I don't want people to be rude to each other. I don't want people to be mean to each other. I just think that if that was gone, which I know it's never going to be um, because of the crap that's in the world, but if that was gone, it would be amazing. Think about how fun it'd be to be on YouTube if everybody was like, oh my God, it's so much fun, blah, 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 et cetera. Um, so that's really, really difficult. Um, let's see here. Making everybody happy, it's impossible. It's literally impossible to make everybody happy. Um, and so for us, like coming up with those videos and putting like our our time and effort into them, um, and then seeing people dislike them again, it's 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 hard. It's hard making everybody happy. Um, and you know, again, with going along the lines of this being a full time job, like this is my job. I have something. I have a schedule to uphold. Otherwise, you guys get upset, which you should because I've promised something and if I don't provide it then it's okay for you to get upset um, but say I want to go on vacation with my family and just take a break from work because this is work uh, it's fun work but it is work uh, if I want to go on vacation I have to grind it out for like a week to get it all done um, as you guys know I'm a young life leader if you've heard of it try it out it's gonna start up again at your school really really soon um, but I'm a young life leader and during the camp during the summer we go to camp for like a week uh, so that means I have to make 14 to 20 videos before I leave. <laughs> Thinking about that right now is just stressful. Um, so I have to make all those and prepare them, upload them, come up with thumbnails for all of them, all this kind of stuff. And it gets hard. Um, again, I love it and it's fun. And the fact that I can do that and then leave um, and still provide for myself is awesome. So that's really, really great. Um, the last thing that I want to mention in this video, and again, you guys can comment down below. I know for a lot of you small YouTubers, being a YouTuber for you, it's hard getting noticed. It's hard getting noticed. Um, so here, I'll say this for once, and then I don't want to see it again. Um, in this comment section, if you have a Clash YouTube channel or something else, um, you can comment down below, hey, check out my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, So you can do that. Um, Otherwise, please don't do it on other videos because it's really overwhelming. And if I see it, on, if I see somebody do it on every video, then I have to ban them or block them from the comments because it gets repetitive and annoying. Um, but you guys can do it in this video because I know that's hard for y'all to figure it out. So for those of you who are watching and want new people to watch, check out the comments down below. Okay. Um, but the last thing that I want to talk about, as this being my job, it's hard sometimes when people say that we're money whores. Um, if I'm a money whore, your parents are money whores. <laughs> and I'm not meaning that in a rude way, but like this is my job. This is what feeds me. This is what allows me to buy my computer programs like Final Cut, Photoshop, all those things. They're freaking expensive. Photoshop's like $1,000. Um, and I have to have that in order to make thumbnails that look cool. Um, I have to have Final Cut in order to do all that kind of stuff. So when people say that we're money whores, it's really sad, honestly, because... 
Um, this is our job. We have to make money to provide for ourselves. Uh, and so sometimes we'll have sponsors, like one of my biggest sponsors uh, is Cash for Apps. Uh, if you guys don't know who they are, check them out. The link in the description. They help you get free gyms better than anyone else. But the fact that I just said that is going to piss somebody else off. Um, Gunners also, they're a sponsor. They don't pay me, but I get glasses from them. Um, and so when I tell you guys, like, hey, check out these glasses that I wear all the time. I'm not wearing them now because I'm not looking at the screen. Um, <clears throat> uh, for those of you who get annoyed by that, like, just don't say anything. It's just like when you're watching the Super Bowl. Like, the Super Bowl wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the commercials that are going on. Like, yeah, it might exist. It would exist, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't be as extravagant as it is if it wasn't for the commercials in the middle of it. And honestly, those commercials are hilarious. Um, but from another standpoint, like say your mom or your dad is in the marketing industry. They advertise. They're advertising to make money so that they can give you food. Um, I just want you guys to try and understand that. And yes, there are a lot of YouTubers that are money whores and just do it and just post random crap and all this kind of stuff just to get views so that they can make money. Um, and a lot of YouTubers do make a lot of money a lot of money like anybody with over a million subs is set for a long time <laughs> um, as long as they're active obviously if you're not active and you have over a million subs you're not gonna make as much um, but this is our job so I just want you guys to try and understand that and support us and if you want us to continue being able to do cool things and and um, provide awesome stuff for you guys get great gear buy all the new video games to play video games are expensive 60 bucks a pop for a video game um, is expensive buying an Xbox one so that I can uh, record on it because I used to not play it I last one whatever I'm just rambling but all this guys we have to make money doing this because it is our job um, so I just want to thank you all for watching for those of you all that are still around I really appreciate it leave a like on the video if you support me if you support gaming with mole if you support Michael Holt if you support me leave a like on the video um, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of dislikes on the video and negative comments for those people that do that I'm sorry that's all that I can say. I'm just sorry that um, that you have to be a negative person. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, again, for those small YouTubers, you can comment down below uh, and tell people to check out your channel if you want to. Um, but again, try and refrain from it on other videos. But as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on from right. See you guys later. Peace.